Uh, just for yourself, Morris, obviously coming back in, I suppose the, the year so far probably couldn't gone any better other than the, obviously the league final, but, but what a year so far. Yeah, it's been a brilliant year. Um, it's been a great year for Limerick football. A lot of positives, you know, um, but it's been building, I think, you know, for what Billy and, and the rest of the backroom team have done over the last number of years. Uh, it, it's definitely been building towards the, the platform has been put down for the success that's been happening this year. Um, you know, I don't think we've reached the ceiling yet, so uh, it's been a great year. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, um, I've had some great years of Limerick football, different times over the different years, but uh, very exciting to be involved. Uh, you know, just it's great to get ready for Muscle Final. And just one few marks there, living below in the, the heart of Long Kerry. And probably, I don't know, if people not ringing you or texting you this week, or maybe they're texting you even more, but uh, what's the, the feeling you're getting below there heading into the match? I think, well, first of all, in general, I think there's a lot of excitement about down in Kerry, about the, just about the year and the way it's gone so far, and, you know, with Jack O'Connor back involved and the backroom team, and there's a, you know, a new twist with Paddy Talley being involved. So it's very exciting uh, on that front, uh, down there, a lot of talk about that all through the year. So they've been getting good crowds and matches and that interest, but there hasn't really been a huge, you know, even though I think they're, they're probably anticipating getting to Grove Park and having a go at the All-Ireland, but, you know, in terms of the Munster final, they, 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 it's, it, the big thing for them is a match in, in, in a, a home match in Killarney, which is something that they put a lot of stead in, you know, and they want to do, make it put in a big performance there, and, you know, um, and I'm sure Jack O'Connor want to keep winning the games and all the rest, so in terms of what I've been seeing down there and the interaction I've been having, has a few jokes and a few bit of banter like that, but not much really. And just, I suppose it's your second time round with, with Limerick. Uh, what, 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 is, what is it in Limerick football that has kind of sparked your interest and brought you back around again? Well, this time around, definitely. I mean, I would always, I would, Billy's brother Joe would have been involved with me um, uh, when I was a, as a selector in 2011, 2013. So, you know, I would always been in contact with the Lees and Billy would have always been in contact with me when I was uh, manager. And I tried to keep in contact with him and... Uh, so a lot of exciting things happening, you know, like I said, he's putting down this platform over the last number of years, even when things weren't going well, he was, he was putting down this platform, he was going about it the right way, <coughs> patient approach, trying to do the right thing for Olympic football all the time, and it's just something I could identify with, you know, I lived here for 15 or 16 years before I moved to Chile, uh, I know the landscape pretty well, not as well as Billy and some of the others, but I, I do have a good feel for it, so, um, you know, it was, it was an easy thing for me to get involved, and, uh, you know, it's 